Dante Wright narratives emerge along factional lines. Again, this is our topic report. Dante Wright, the left-right fight for narrative over truth. Dante Wright's brother, Dallas, doesn't believe police killing was an accident. Straight BS. That's from Newsweek.com. And we have the headline from independent.co.uk. Dante Wright's mother honors slain son. My heart is broken in a thousand pieces. I miss him so much. And it's only been a day. From Crooks and Liars. One of the, definitely one of the worst as far as the left is concerned. Uh, Molotov cocktail throwers. Fox reporter complains blacks won't accept, quote, justified, unquote, shooting of Dante Wright. Or, excuse me, justified, justified shooting. Uh, Minnesota officer who killed Dante Wright resigns along with police chief. This is from The Guardian. City council fires city manager over Dante Wright shooting. This is from Louder with Crowder. Also, I would say uh, kind of like the right in that crooks and liars kind of category as far as Molotov cocktail throwing. Black man killed by police in Minnesota was, quote, amazing, loving kid, unquote. This is from News 24. Dante Wright faced, it, faced attempted robbery case when killed by cop, allegedly choked woman, and held her at good gunpoint. This is from The Blaze. And then we have Fox News host Laments. This is from Crooks and Liars again, and I already told you what I think of them. Fox News host Laments, quote, poor officer, unquote, who shot Dante Wright. Now, this is where I want to get to with this story, which is, if you'll notice, I should have had a little bit more right. I thought I had a little bit more right titles on here than showed up. But the, the general gist here, on one hand, you have, oh, as usual, well, of course, of course, he's an evil person. He deserved what he got or it was a justified shooting or whatever. It's not because anything to do with, with truth, with reason, with logic just like on the other side that they want to do is they want to immediately paint these folks in these situations as saints and the cops are completely of course are completely evil and and that's the way it is and the reason is is because on the quote-unquote left they find a vehicle of power of particular usefulness in continuing to try to dismantle the law and order structures, structures that you see around you because the law and order structures emerge fundamentally from a Bill of Rights construct, a Bill of Rights vehicle of power, if you will, uh, very imperfectly, I might add. Uh, but it, the Bill of Rights is a fundamental imposition to how they see, how they want to, to, to use government as an agent of quick and decisive change that isn't slowed down by something like the Bill of Rights. They're looking to change things on the fly dramatically. And on the right, they support law and order, rule of law, because the Bill of Rights is also, well, it's, it's, it's sustained. It makes it difficult for you to change things. Even when there's an issue, it might be difficult for you to change things. You have to go through a due process methodology. You have to go through a rule of law methodology, and you have to be held accountable according to King Bill. King Bill exists outside of the American state, outside of humanity itself in a way. King Bill is as close as we can get to Christ being king. Uh, but it's it's hardly, it's a pale comparison to what Christ is. Uh, but I won't get into that. I don't have time for this. These are just short little things here. Uh, but there is some truth to be had on all sides, almost always on the left and the right, so-called left, so-called right, when it comes to these stories. And because they are so rigidly held to their factional positions they can't allow for the other side to have any measure of truth so it keeps us in the dark and we're not able to 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 come to terms with the issues that that are and and to look at this through a lens of the reality of power that strips away the moral constructs that the left and the right find so useful to doggedly hold on to so as to protect their factional interests i mean I'm not going to say what I think about this shooting other than what I said yesterday, which is a woman on the police force for 26 years. She held on to that gun for a while, and then she yells, taser, 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 and then she shoots. That doesn't jibe with me. It just doesn't seem right. And if she was that 
untrained after 26 years and training somebody else in the process. So she's actually training the next generation. There, I'm glad that the police chief resigned because there's something fundamentally wrong with that police force. But because the right perceives that any attack on the police is an attack on rule of law, which they're kind of right about, kind of, not exactly, they will have to, they're, they're put into a position where they have to defend the police no matter what. And so they have to demonize Dante Wright. Meanwhile, the left, they can't look at the, what the inconvenient hard facts of the situation. It is true that Dante Wright did not just peacefully go along, did seem to go back to the back seat. And it is, seems to be true. I don't know if this is true. I believe it's true. And I don't want to state my reputation on it, such as that is, that he had a warrant out for his arrest that seems to indicate he was doing some pretty bad things. All of these things should be considered when we're evaluating. Now, by the way, just because of the warrant, I'll say this. I don't believe there's a justification for what happened here. Even if, the, even if there was a arrest warrant for murder, it's the, the, the standard is not that cops act right when it comes to dealing with people who are quote unquote good the standard is that they should act right within the bounds of rule of law even even if they're evil objectively evil with if there could be such a thing so let's move on